Hi, it's Ida Walsh again, and now we're going to be talking about sellers. Um, how we save our sellers $25,000 or more. Now, before we get started, in case you didn't watch our buyer video, uh, we're going to be talking about tangible or dollars and cents, things that you can really notice fast and visualize uh, effectively, such as uh, discount on commissions. And then there's the intangible values, uh, and these are things that's going to bring value to the transaction that you don't really necessarily see right away. It could be monetary gain um, or just the success in the transaction. So those are the different values that we're going to be talking about. So for sellers, let's start with the flexible commissions. Now we have flexible listing services that um, allows us to basically adjust the commissions based on the marketing that we're going to be putting towards a home. Now we know every client, every home, and every situation is unique. So our main goal is to really understand what you're trying to do with your home and your overall goal and see how we can get you there. Um, that's really our, uh, our entire goal because we don't get paid unless your home sells and we want to make sure that it sells for the maximum amount of value so that you can move into your new home or you can move on to the next phase of your life and to have that successful transaction. So um, our goals are really to partner with you to make sure that you understand your options along the way, that there are specific cost um, holes that obviously that's what we're going over, different costs that may impact your bottom line. So how do we mitigate that list? Uh, what can we offer along the way so that you first know what your options are um, and understand what can we do to mitigate that, list, that risk or the amount of money that may potentially go out. So we have flexible listings. Obviously, we love referrals. We love loyalty. Um, we love multiple listings. So that's what we really like. And um, if you want to find out more about our listing details, um, you can watch our video specifically for that. So the next thing is a big one. So obviously, commissions is uh, a big one. Um, the return on investment on repairs and updates. Now we're seeing this more and more where people are going in and spending twenty or thirty or forty thousand dollars on renovations and then they can't get their money out and they have already spent all that money now they want to price the home accordingly and it's just not the market price it's just way overpriced so please please if you're thinking about upgrading um, or doing renovations or any kind of repairs call us there's a free consultation we'll come in and we'll tell you what um, upgrades or uh, investments or um, updates will bring the best return on your investment so that you're not spending thirty or forty thousand dollars that are that you're not going to be able to get back uh, on the flip side maybe you invest five thousand dollars and now you've got you know great demand on a home and it's going ten or fifteen thousand dollars above asking so there are just different strategies and it's always helpful to know ahead of time and understand the market understand the trends and understand what buyers are really looking for and then if you have let's say twenty thousand dollars to invest in a home renovation where do you put that money so that you can get the most benefit and most return on your investment so that's what we do. We're here to help assist with that. Um, and then the, the money protection offers, right? There are different ways we can help. As I was saying, we have a timeline and all of these costs, potential costs, and depending on your home, the condition, um, and obviously where you are, we would go through those steps and really outline the options for you. Um, for example, home warranty. Home warranty can actually protect sellers during that transaction. It could also be a potential um, great tool for when the home inspection items kick in um, to lower you know, the, um, the amount of money that you would spend on repairs. The next thing, obviously, this is we're talking about that, is the inspections and repairs. So you can actually pre-inspect your home and get a head start on what could potentially be uh, coming up with the home inspection. Um, so home inspection is obviously one that where there's going to be negotiations happening. There's pest and termite, um, radon, well and septic, lead, mold, structural. So obviously when we walk through the home, um, we can talk about all of those, but inspections and repairs. So when somebody's negotiating, you really want an agent who can negotiate on your behalf to make sure that they're going to be able to first communicate with the other side and understand the needs and how do you create a win-win situation where it's not draining your net uh, benefits or, or profits. The next thing 
is strategic pricing. Now, I like to call it strategic because some people say you can't sell a house for more than market value. And I can tell you that that is false. So there is a strategy behind pricing. And again, we need to sit down with you and really understand your overall goal and then decide, okay, what do we need to do in order to get you there? Uh, maybe you have a specific bottom line that you wanna um, make sure that you get for the purchase of your new home or you need to sell in a specific amount of time or whatever the situation is. So we have to lay out a strategy and understand what are the options in order to get you there. So um, I'm gonna give you an example. For example, we had uh, a client in Fairfax City and they found their dream home uh, before they were even ready to sell their home. So we had to rush to really get the home on the market and during that time, we were able to pre-market the home. So we're going to talk about pre-marketing there. So we pre-marketed the home, and we had a strategy session with them. We sat down and we said, okay, here's where the market price is, and there's so many competition in there. So we looked at the competition, and we compared the home. So we had a strat strategy of pricing it below what was, what was on the market. And the reason that we did that is because First of all, they needed to sell right away in order to make sure that they didn't lose a contract. Uh, second of all, it's going to create demand, especially if we're going to do pre-marketing and make sure that that becomes effective. And we were able to market to specific target market, which I'm going to be talking about as well. We don't do just shotgun our marketing. We are very specific, and that's why we go through the marketing questionnaire and really understand, okay, this home is perfect for this type of um, market. So this is, a, you know, whether that's a more a family or a professional, whatever that, that lifestyle is, we really focus on what that home brings and the lifestyle it brings and who would it be perfect for. And then we try to market to those specifically. Now, um, we do know that some uh, people or some agents will go into listings and claim that they can sell their home for you know, higher than any other price out there or higher than what other agents are saying. And we see this all the time where it actually sits on the market and sellers don't realize that there is a timeline of interested buyers that are going to hit your home within the first two or three weeks and then it starts to die off. Now, if you put your home on the market way overpriced, first of all, you might not even get the buyers. Second of all, people are gonna look at it and say it's overpriced and move on to something else. So it's really important to really price your home right. And um, when we see agents that win these contracts or listings and they overprice the home and then each week they're marketing it, you know, the price is coming down, coming down, coming down. Uh, in the meantime, you know, you're on the market for months and now you're incurring all those carry costs. So people don't realize it's not just mortgage, but you've got HOA, you've got property taxes. Uh, so you're carrying all of that versus just pricing it right or pricing it strategically. Now, I'm not saying that we always price it lower. Sometimes we price it higher. It's really the strategy. And your agent is going to be actually able to sit down with you, look at the market, look at your home, and put together a strategy based on your timeline and your needs. So I like to call it strategic pricing. Um, obviously, the next one is negotiation. So this is one of your biggest assets, if not the biggest asset. So you really want somebody experienced. You really want somebody that you can trust. You really want somebody that's going to get your back. So somebody who can negotiate what they're selling. Someone who can negotiate on your behalf. Somebody who can negotiate the value of your home and demonstrate that to the buyers. Um, this is definitely a key. People don't realize how important negotiation is. I mean, at any time the transaction can blow up or start to blow up or uh, you know something may happen and now communications is, are you know are irritated or angered you really want somebody who can get in there and really negotiate to make sure that the transaction comes through and it goes smoothly so the next thing is the closing costs now obviously closing costs will impact your net earnings again it goes back to negotiations how do we make this happen without impacting your bottom line appraisal issues so obviously somebody who's experienced to deal with these issues can help deal with that. Sometimes we challenge the appraisal. 
Um, so there are different ways to deal with appraisal issues. Um, and then uh, discounts and the network. So we offer different type of discounts. There are movers um, and other discounts that we give to our sellers so that you can keep saving money um, as you're transitioning out of there. So if you need storage spaces, etc., there's a bunch of discounts. And then our network. So we really value our network and that's our key. So we network with agents, um, we network with attorneys, with settlement companies, with inspectors, um, with vendors. Um, so that kind of network really helps us. For example, if let's say the deal falls through because um, something happened with the buyer and now you can't buy your new home because this transaction is not going to go through so we can actually pull in a lender that can qualify that person let's say that their um, credit rating went down or something like that so having that network of um, you know lenders that can help last minute or help rescue us in dif from different things is key so we really value that the network is key um, also the pre-marketing so I touched upon this a little bit um, obviously there's no value attached to it, but what we do is when we pre-market, our entire goal is to get more exposure. And the more exposure we get, the more demand we can create for that home before it even gets on the market. So this is really how we measure if there's interest for this home. So we blast it out there for the specific target market and we don't get a lot of hits, then we know well, maybe we need to adjust the price. So this again is part of the strategy. But if we put it out there and we have a lot of interest, now we know exactly what we can do to really make sure that we blast it off and uh, get the highest value. So all of these pre-marketing um, and showcasing your home, uh, target marketing and, and um, having a dedicated team is gonna be key, which is what we're gonna go over. So showcasing your home. Obviously, everyone's home is to their own taste. But when you're trying to sell, you really want to showcase it. You really want to make sure that it's clutter-free, uh, odor-free, you know, it's inviting, it's warm, that people are going to be able to walk in and see themselves in there or feel good energy. Um, so staging, we have free staging consultation. So we don't, that doesn't mean, you know, the truck is pulling in and we're bringing staging furniture, but taking your furniture and just rearranging it or taking some of the furniture out and rearranging the other one so that the room looks more inviting or better or the flow is better. Um, we have staging services, free staging consultation um, and staging reports so it can give you some guidelines as well. Uh, clean up repairs and updates. So in some cases if you want the b best return or to be able to sell the home faster we may recommend that you do a few things. Again, those uh, will be with your agent. They'll be able to discuss it. Um, another way to showcase your home is actually taking beautiful, professional, wide-angle photos. And I am just shocked that there are sellers out there who put their home, their biggest investment, out there with crappy pictures. And I don't even know if they actually see these pictures or not, but you can tell that they're either taken by a phone or you know, just somebody walk through and there's still stuff everywhere and nothing has been really presented. And just think about the fact that the first thing that interested buyers see are pictures. That's the first thing that they see. So it needs to capture their attention. It needs to invite them in. Pictures are key and having professional pictures are not key as well. So the new thing that's happening are the videos. So I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of uh, transitions are happening towards video and interactivity. So things that you can't really see in pictures. For example, you have Anderson windows. Um, you can't really tell, right? Or these windows are brand new. You just uh, you know spent eight thousand dollars, you know, putting new windows in the home. You can't really say that in the pictures. So a video can really showcase your home so effectively. And you can see some samples of our, our uh, videos. So we believe in video marketing. Um, targeted marketing. So again, we, we just talked about that. We market on the top websites. Uh, we market on social media and our websites. So we have multiple websites and we can actually pull up and show you the number of buyers we have searching on our website. And they're not our clients, they're just using our website. So we can actually start marketing 
your home before it even goes on the market to make sure that it gets exposure or to see if there are any buyers in our uh, websites to see if there's a potential buyer there. Um, also putting a coming soon sign, you know, you may have neighbors who may have family members or friends that they would like to have living nearby. So just putting a post sign with a coming soon is really key and people don't realize the impact that it can have. Um, there's also print marketing uh, and then we have a property website. So the way that we do our measurement of interest is we have a property website and we track that website to see how many people are actually hitting it. How many people are watching the videos? How, many, how much time do they spend on the website? So that gives us a good idea. And all of these are actually done with a dedicated marketing team. Um, and the reason that we do that is we have a, a full-time dedicated marketing team that's working day and night basically to make sure that our websites are up, um, that our marketing is working to track the, uh, the traffic and the impact of the different websites so that our dedicated agents and your agent can spend the time marketing the home to potential buyers. So they're going to be working on the contracts, they're going to be making sure that they're communicating with you and following you up with buyers so that they don't have to worry about running ads or doing anything else, that our team takes care of that. So I hope you enjoyed um, some of the, the tips and tricks that uh, we were able to show you in this video and if you haven't watched our buyer video please do so because I know a lot of people that are selling are also buying so there are great information and if I've missed anything or if you'd like more information on any of these topics please let us know or call any of one of our agents who are willing to come out and uh, really present our materials and help you sell your home so that you can move into your new home or transition to a new phase in your life um, again, my name is Ida Walsh. If you have any questions, please give us a call and make